We are back with Chef Frank. Chef Frank, who has been very busy preparing some wonderful dishes. We are ready for fall. It's a fall harvest dinner that you guys are teaching on Thursday, Thursday right? Thursday, yeah. Okay. At all locations or just Kierlin? Just Kierlin. We're the only one that does the uh, cooking program. Oh, okay. Yeah, so. Good to know. You've only been on this show for how long? <laughs> I'm glad I pay attention. <laughs> okay, so we made the apple salad just a little while ago, mm -hmm. and now we are making the kabocha, kabocha squash soup. What does kabocha mean? Kabocha means it's, it's uh, actually squash in Japanese. Okay. So it's a different type of rattle of squash. In the inside, it looks like butternut squash. Right. But on the outside, it has that nice green Looks like a watermelon. Skin. Yeah, kind of. So um, all is you it have sweeter to or is it, it does. sort of it taste the same? It has a little bit of, of a, more of a sweetness than butternut squash. But um, it's a little easier to use, actually, because right. it, the cooking time seems to be a little, little quicker. And you could buy it anywhere or anywhere. specialty store? Okay. Nope. Anywhere. Good to pretty, know. Yeah, pretty, pretty regular in, reg in uh, grocery stores. So you just put olive oil over this? A little bit of olive oil, and we're going to season it with salt, a little bit of pepper. And what we want to do is roast these guys first, because otherwise we're not going to be able to use it. Okay. And the last few spices that I'm going to use is a little bit of sage. A uh, sage and squash is the best combination. Oh, yeah. I mean, how holiday does that sound? Right. A little bit of sage and a little bit of clove. This goes in the oven 375 degrees for about 50 minutes. And then when it comes out, we, we'll cool it off. And now what happens is you have this nice, I'll we'll this. switch that. Pretend like that's in the oven. <laughs> We're taking this out. So we have this nice squash just like that where it's nice and pliable. Mm -hmm. Now we can take a spoon, scoop it out. And then we can go ahead and make our soup. So when you scoop it out, it looks like looks this. Looks like that. Yep. Great. Absolutely. Fast forward. Fast forward. So <laughs> cast iron, Dutch oven is what we're using. Again, one of our favorite tools that we're using. This is the stove, five and a half quart. And uh, what I have here is a little bit of olive oil, just enough to coat. And we have some fennel and some more of those uh, onions that we used earlier. Give them a quick sweat. And then what we're going to do, if you'd like, grab the uh, kabocha squash. This nope. or this? The one, yep, okay. there it is. And go ahead and go right in there. Squash goes in there. We're going to heat this guy up to get nice and pliable. And what's going to help is some nice chicken stock. Okay. So chicken stock goes in. Squash gets submerged. And what we're going to do is going to let the chicken stock just get everything nice and nice and warm. Uh, get everything so it's ready to uh, to be pureed. Um, once that's done, we could either use like a Vitamix. Again, one of our other tools that we use at the store, or you can use an immersion blender, mm -hmm. which is just going straight in there. So, so in this pot right here, you just blend it all up so mm -hmm. it looks like this? So it looks like that, yeah, okay. so give that a stir. And we're just heating it here, or are we adding something else? We are actually going to make a quick sauce for it called a pea stew, so okay. that's the end of our Okay, soup. now what does pea stew mean? Pea stew is a cold Italian sauce, so it's almost, a lot of people think it's kind of like a pesto, but you're really missing a few things from pesto, like the cheese. But a lot of the same ingredients are going into here. We have the garlic. We have, uh, we have some green, which is uh, arugula that we're using, olive oil, of course. So really nice, light, easy sauce to make. OK. So now we're, so we're going to heat that up. Heat that up. Let that go. We'll go ahead and make the pea stew. OK. And in here, we have our arugula, garlic. We're going to go ahead and add some walnuts. Lemon juice. There are so many different flavors going on here. Oh, yeah. Because what you added to the squash mm -hmm. and then what you added over there. It's all about layering flavors, you know, making it taste good. Right. So a little bit of olive oil. And of course, we brought this machine here before. Remember yes, how to use it? But this? I've never had played with it. Stephanie always we'll do did. Like this. This is the Breville Immersion Blender. One of the coolest things about the Breville Immersion Blender, it's kind of like a Vitamix where it has that dial up front so that you can control its speed. So I'm going to let you go now, ahead. Now, if we were using a regular squash, uh -huh. would we do everything the same? Exact same. OK. Yep. Butternut. Um, what do I push acorn. this? Actually, right up here. Okay. There we go. And what is the green? Arugula. Arugula. Okay. arugula. So we have that garlicky flavor. We have that pepperiness from the arugula. Then we have that nice Marco Verde olive oil that we use all the time in our store. Um, it's a nice blend of Italian and Greek olives. It's definitely one of those highlighted features that we have okay. during class. So, now, it says that a, a mortar and a pestle mm -hmm. is required to make this. You could use a mortar and pestle. Uh, totally, totally fine. But if you're making something like, like a large amount, You'd be there Something forever, else. Oh, huh? yeah, yeah. <laughs> you'd, you'd be there making these two all day. So that's pretty that much good? it right there. Yeah. So you have this nice, chunky, fresh sauce. Let me smell it. Just like that. Mmm. 
Now, do we add it to that, or is this just going to go? This over is going to be as a garnish. Oh, so okay. we're going to have our our soup right here. Just kind of like that. Ladle that into our soup bowl here. So how full is that with that color? It looks great. Nice creamy soup, and, and I'm notice that. This no, go ahead. Nice creamy Big soup. Big daddy. And you don't have any cream, no butter, nothing like that, right. which is always nice. And last but not so least. So this is really healthy. Yeah, very healthy. Take some of that pea stew, just like that. Equal parts. You think when I taste it? Um, you can go ahead and dip your dip your spoon into the pea stew going into the soup. Okay. And see how you like it. Can honestly say I've never had this before. Mm. What do you think? Nice and creamy. I think that's mine. That's what <laughs> that's I think. That's yours. Oh my gosh, this is perfect for uh, Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. I know we're still, we're not even into October yet, but perfect. No, totally, totally Love perfect. It. Oh, yummy. Okay. All right, when we come back, we're not done. Are well, we done? No, we're not no, done. We got, we're making we, an apple. No, we have uh, pork tenderloin. Oh, that's right. Okay. With, with gastrique. We'll talk about okay. gastrique. All these tricky words today. <laughs> All right, Steph, I'm learning a whole lot in the kitchen today, but you'll be able to taste it, so that's good.